Hello everyone, this is Riyad for Vichikami here. Today we are going to get S rank in the Ocean Crossing mission of Chapter 2 in Armor Core 6. So first we'll take a look at the loadout that we've used for this video. Uh, my friend and co-worker Rhett Roxel from Vichikami uh, took care of getting S rank on this video for us. So let's take a quick peek at his loadout. Most of it is up to you, however the most important part is your generator. You want one with a lot of EN capacity because you'll need to fly around a fair bit during this mission and use a lot of assault boost. Main system. As you begin the mission, you will have to ascend an elevator, which takes a little while. However, you don't really have a choice. You have to go through the dialogue with Carla and ascend the elevator at its pace. With that said, you will learn a bit of interesting lore about this area. Sadly, that's beyond my territory. I mean, once you're out there, the PCA satellites see everything. A few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge went out to prove themselves. You can guess what happened. Alright, fun fact, you can find those dozer wrecks in this mission. However, they don't contribute to getting S ranking, nor do they get you any battle logs, so they're purely for lore reasons. Anyways, once you exit the elevator, you want to pop down through this hole and enter the guts of the industrial area. This is to avoid all the PCA lasers from the satellite above you. There are some drones down here you can take out if you want. They don't contribute to your ranking, but they can be annoying as you're flying through here, so taking them out will decrease how much damage you take. Next, you want to pop down below this bridge, get your EN to recover, and then a small boost across. You want to stay under this bridge to, once again, avoid the PCA lasers from the satellite above. After you cross the bridge, you want to head underneath one of the nearby uh, platforms to stay out of the laser range. And then assault boost through this corridor. And once you do, you will be beyond the reach of the satellite lasers. Next, you gotta take out these drones in the loading bay area. Pretty much any weapon will make quick work of these drones. Every weapon that I personally use in this mission takes them on like one shot. However, once you're ready, um, access the cargo container there, and the boss will show up, the sea spider. So the loadout that Rep's using here is really good for close range, so he decides to stick as close as possible to the sea spider whilst rotating around it. He does take a couple hits, but for the most part he is able to dodge most of the sea spiders attacks or block them with his expansion. Depending on the weapons you have, you may want to stick a little bit farther away from the sea spider, but that is up to you. Once the sea spider drops below 50% AP, it will enter phase 2. While it's doing so, take this opportunity to hit it as hard as you can while its defenses are down. However, once it starts flying up in the air, you want to do the same. A lot of the Sea Spire's attacks are quite good at tracking you on the ground. However, if you're in the air, it will have a difficult time landing hits on you for the most part. After you take out the sea spider, uh, you have to access a cargo container to end the mission. However, you need to wait for Air and Carla to finish their dialogue before you could access that cargo container, which is that way. We'll take a look at the end mission screen after Red hops into this container. 
just so you can see the S rank criteria that we got. So you want to use less than 22,000 in terms of repair costs, use less than 34,000 in terms of ammo costs, and complete this mission within 5 minutes or so to get S rank. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing. Until the next one, happy hunting fellow mercs.